A B.C. correctional officer says she will not be silenced by a gag order after she was subjected to what she calls a hazing at a training camp in Chilliwack, B.C. last fall. The prison worker contacted our team at Go Public, saying she experienced degrading, harassing and humiliating activities. Erica Johnson has the details. Nubia Venegas is a correctional worker for the Fraser Valley Institution for Women in Abbotsford, British Columbia. Last fall, she got accepted to join a training camp to become a member of an emergency response team here. It was supposed to be a three-week course, but Venegas says she was instantly made to feel unwelcome in a male-dominated class. In a complaint to the Canadian Human Rights Commission, she says she was insulted, degraded, harassed and discriminated against. One of the most disturbing incidences, she says, was during an exercise that was supposed to simulate an inmate attack. She says when the male colleagues did this exercise, the instructors shouted words of encouragement like, go, 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 you've got this. But when she had to do the exercise, they yelled things at her like, you are going to be raped. Is that what you want? Do you want to be effing raped? You work in a men's institution, there's always that threat, being a female. You, you could get assaulted. But it's so different coming from a peer. It's so different coming from someone who's supposed to train you, who's supposed to give you encouragement, who's supposed to have your back. Venegas ended up quitting after six days, saying she feared for her safety. She wrote a letter of complaint and says eventually the Commissioner of Corrections wrote an apology letter. But she wants to see people disciplined. We get disciplined for wearing the wrong color socks, but you're not disciplining people who sexually harass people, haze people, discriminate people, that's wrong. Venegas was also asked to sign a confidentiality agreement, offered a job as a parole officer in exchange for not suing or discussing the terms of the settlement. A women's legal advocate says such gag orders essentially keep wrongdoing quiet. If the response is uh, to silence the person who complains rather than to really tackle the underlying uh, structural violence that is occurring in those workplaces, then that is a significant problem. Corrections wouldn't give an interview, but in an email said it's committed to providing a harassment-free workplace. Meantime, that training course has been suspended while changes are made. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.